okay. Who's was already putting in that work. Oh, what you talking about, bro? My habits are impeccable, but you already knew that. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Freshie? Hey. Oh, take your chauffeur to work day again. Hey, do me a favor. Stop posting to social media when you're driving. Yo, you follow me, though. Okay, like it or not, and I don't, part of my job is now following you on social media because you have the star rookie's life in your hands. Ten and two, baby, always. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real good driver. Plus, if I crash, I can't be going back to my neighborhood, yo. Okay, how do you know each other? Well, our, our, our parents, our mothers were friends. Uh, his you know mom and my mom been friends since, like, 1902. You know what I'm saying? And my, my twin, Lil Tasty, we go way back with DJ. You know what I'm saying? You heard of Lil Tasty, right? Rapper, don't get it twisted. Yellow Mamba, a.k.a. Two Braids, a.k.a. Teardrop Shotty. Teardrop Shotty. Yeah, we go way back. Hmm. Okay, we're getting a little backstory on uh, whatever her name is. B. Let's get into the game. Uh, welcome back. This is uh, SRD, and you're, and you're watching a new place, NBA 2K18. All right, let's go. It's been a while since I posted. I, I got a new job, and uh, I'm working a lot longer hours than I used to. So I don't have the free time that I used to have. I'm still going to try to uh, put some content out. I won't be very much. Uh, Welcome, maybe everyone. more on the weekends. Anthony, uh, I definitely want to be uh, spending David some time Aldrich with my Kevin family. It's a special and night I don't have a whole lot of time to do that with my new job. So that's why MVP I haven't posted Kevin in a while. This is the first so chance I've really gotten. I'm in training. I'm trying to learn all the new stuff. And a little tight for time. We're taking on the Miami Heat. Whatever, let's go. It's been a while Marcus since I've played, so just how strong he can be on the I've been playing that great anyway, but I'm a little KG rusty. So. An and uh, you have to excuse Smart, my voice, I got a rarely, rarely head cold, TV sinuses, or whatever it is. It's uh, um, it kicking my butt, so. All right, let's go. Uh, he gives you remember all the buttons here, man. You know what? He anticipates well. He anticipates well. More importantly, he's very smart. He understands the whistle. He understands hard fouls. He knows when to foul hard, when not to. And on the offensive end, too, he'll hit a three. He's a gutsy player. You know, on the defensive end, he'll take charges. He'll do little tangible stuff. Come on, that dude. A lot of guys won't do. Man, you need a smart on your team to do the small things if, if you're trying to miss oh, the right smart things, right? Yeah. The smart Took an eye off the act and fall on the action. <laughs> UK, no, no, come on. I just got that three. Right. What are you talking about? You just know what you said. And I just classic. I just repeat it. Right classic there. 2K. <laughs> classic 2K K Har right there. <laughs> You lit, K. You lit. <laughs> I'm because I'm next you to you. I'm, I'm telling you, you lit. Come on. Hey. <laughs> so here's Miami's starting group. All right. Frankich and Waiters, they're the backcourt. Mickey out there with Whiteside, and it's Johnson in at the three spot. Kevin, especially back in Minnesota, you have some uh, Hall Come of on. Fame When I feed you a good shot like that, you can't be Tim missing Duncan. those things, Talk man. What those games, what those matchups were like. Timmy, man. Timmy's very crafty, man. I'll... Our battles used to just, oh, well, especially as young guys, they man. Young guys trying to establish themselves in a gritty league at the time. Uh, 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 yeah, get, some get older, dominant that. names at the time: Michael Jordan, Elijah Wan, Malone. You know, the time where the forward position was a very, very tough position. But Timmy uh, was one of them ones, man. Used angles very well. Right. Was very long. It's ice cold. Uh, had a lot of counters. Very strong and had an inner beast that people really didn't didn't really talk about because you didn't really necessarily hear or, or nah, see come it. on man, man he tried to get in front of him one of the best miss and it's not by coincidence he's he's one of the ones well i would say that's as high percentage as you're gonna get from hassan whiteside he really takes off on those dunks irving for three again irving missing he to man oh man to start off the game Kevin, when you played, we all know start. how intense you were, how much you cared. That, to me, was the thing that you cared so much about the product ah, the crap. team, about the game. But so some people rusty, had said uh, get that maybe there, there was a hold streak it. of you that was mean is maybe not the right word, but <sighs> overly aggressive. But, but, but I don't know how you could have played any differently. Then. I call it Dow Den. What? You huh? know, I like to think that if you're trying to accomplish something, then, you know, I, I All right, know we score. Go at it with you, go, right? you go at it with everything you have. Yes. You go to dominate it and take it over. You don't go at something uh, like... Not, can't walk not, through the park no, with this not, game not, game not at all. Not at all. 
and uh, this game is full of talented elites. Is he going to camp underneath there? What's at least three seconds there? Typically go for 50 easy. Good God, so, man. The guy's sitting in Al the Horford, a player who doesn't dominate any one category as a big man, but KG is a, right. he has very few weaknesses. He's fundamentally sound. It's very effective, man. Al Horford knows what he is. He's very solid oh, in what he does. Sets great picks. Right. He's able to create space between him and his defender. If you watch him, he's gotten better with his shot. He's gotten better with his three-point shot. He's able to shoot it at rapid style now. Being in Atlanta, being in a kind of a system where he was able to play kind of four guys, one in, and he would be more perimeter. He's really developed a perimeter shot now. It's really helped him. Now he's able to put the ball on the floor with a shot fade and go to the basket, make, you know, other passes to guys. Really help that whole system up there. Boston is a threat, but without yeah, more Al yeah, Horford's man. play, his inside play, and his, you know, able to go out and hit threes, they're not the same team without him. Yeah, come on. Person, oh. Absolutely. Yes. Right. No better locker room leader. He's one of these guys that, you know, when you talk about men, you know, you want to know that men can stand up and speak like men. He's one of those guys. He's one of those guys that's going to put on the table we are going to be in here speaking. He's running and gunning, sure. not hitting anything. Kevin, it's been said that some guys hated to play against you. Is there someone you hated to play against uh, for whatever reason? No, no, no. You enjoyed every gym? I enjoyed every every competitor because on the offensive side of the ball, I was always challenged when to use counters or what type of moves I was using. I took a lot of pride in having a variety of moves for different types of defenses. And each guy is going to bring out a different side of the offense in you. And then turning around and then being that defender and being able to guard the post player or the post or whatever the, the post player was or whatever. Rasheed Wallace was always a tough guard. Tim Duncan me was that. always a tough guard. Get out of here with that cheese. Randolph was always a tough guard. Come on, open. Oh, my God, nice. man. Carmelo. Great names. Inside. Here's the monster. Uh, gonna go that crap. time. Now the Heat take it the other way. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And always tough on the road, but that attack mindset that they brought. I got the block. I really felt like that set them apart. And sometimes when you're pushing the action, you can see some great teamwork, and then all of a sudden the individuals on your team can take over. Oh come on, man! Nothing's falling. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And KG, talk about how the greats can just impose their will. It's almost like another level. Yeah. When you see LeBron, what he did mm. in Detroit in that fourth quarter, that's a blackout. You don't know what you're doing. When you when you see Cole go for 81, when you see Chauncey come down on a one, th these players are blacking out. These are elite players in elite moments, taking the moment. Paul Pierce is one of the best that I've ever seen grab a moment and savor it and just put it in slow-mo. And nothing speeding them up. Special All Special right, I got one to go. Front row here, so Bree Allen, the same thing. He had a great composure about himself to slow himself down and hit pressure shots. Tim Duncan, same thing. There's a screen stolen by Smart. All right, Smart. Goes up and Boom. Slam dunk by Smart. And that's how you do it, guys. Ball pressure. And then get That's some how you do it. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. From 12 feet out, he gets that one. Defensive and breakdown. I was in his face. You can't Come on, the man. Side to get the basketball inside the paint like that. He is lights out from that close. Kevin, when you're talking about influences, you mentioned Chris Webber's name a lot. Yeah, C. Webb uh, was kind of a... Uh, Bad call for penalty. He, he didn't have to pass it to me. Was I wasn't team open. Team now I get defensive breakdown, too. Search for a road map, maybe. Day. You know, who do I most resemble? Well, not only that, but just some direction. You know, at the yeah. time, I was a big who had handles. And, and if you know anything about <laughs> Southern coaches, they don't want their big handling the ball. So you get the ball up to a guard or whatever. It wasn't until I got to Chicago to where the scouts or, you know, people were able to see, like, wow, this big can actually handle the ball. He has handles. For sake, man. And my high school coach would actually <laughs> bring the ball man. up to show off or showcase it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I hated it. I was but like, yeah, oh, but, but, my God. But look I don't want right? ball off. <laughs> man, oh, man. <laughs> Time out. Thank you. Oh. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. And Kevin, there was such a whirlwind. 39-14. Holy shit, how long was that? What were your thoughts and emotions at that time? 
You know what? Being in Minnesota at that time, it was very difficult for me. I didn't necessarily want to leave. I had a goal to bring the city a championship, and I felt like I could do that. Nothing worse than when you have to deal with the reality of change. I'm not the one for change, even though Man, I I've said know how much in first order to I'm process or progress better, you have to embrace some change. So with the help of my friends, oh, my chance to go. Damn. I sat and I thought through it with those yeah. guys who have been through the trade process and talking to me and getting me to understand my options. And once I understood all my options, then I just, you know, it was about what was best for me and me and my family. Mm, wow, yeah, there, there's a lot to consider. We've got the monster. Rozier is out there with Wells. Oh. And it's Marcus Morris. And it's I can't a even dribble. Small forward. That's the Boston Five. All right. Come yeah, on, man. God, we're getting, we're, we're getting killed. Hey, Kevin. Well, the monster Not just me. in the last game against the Pacers was terrific. He finished with 27 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him. Looks like a some sets of kicks. What a great exhibition on his yeah. part. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. Great, David. Appreciate it. Well, he set the bar pretty high for himself with that performance. He did. All right. I mean, but we got know he's going to try to raise that bar again tonight. No matter how good he is, he's always thinking he can do better. And the great well, we players got back are never we got satisfied. This. We'll see what he does in the next one. Winslow kicks to Johnson. And Rogier right. pulls it down and can you have turn it around in where you'd go from Minnesota. How did all that play out? I sat with um, you know, my wife and we all you know, kind of went through it and we thought Boston was the best situation. Paul and I had great bones and a uh, great history that uh, I don't think the world really knew. Uh, we have been knowing each other since 14, 15. I played with each other younger and I had a chance to play with Cole, but uh, that really didn't go through. A lot of people don't have a chance to oh, see no. Nash also. But I wanted to play with Stoudemire, and that wasn't the case. So I decided to go uh, to Boston. And Ray and I knew each other from South Carolina. And then, um, you know, the Rondo piece was a huge piece for mm -hmm. me. You know, I had followed the youngster in uh, his first year and just watched his growth a little bit, even though I was in the Western Conference. And then when I got to Boston, I knew they had good pieces like Kendrick Perkins and Tony Allen. I wasn't aware of the big baby piece yet. And then, right. um, I wasn't sure on the, uh, the posy part. And then all of a sudden, it started to come together. Eddie yeah, Howard. By 24. And then all of this. And, um, great names. I mean, great just, names. just all alphas. Yeah, all guys yeah. able to stand up and speak for come themselves. Come on, man. Yeah. And, and, you know, all Protect different facets. Baseline. And, you know, a very similar facets of who we are personality-wise. And for the Celtics. Al Horford's checked in for Morris. Hayward comes in for Alex Sabrinas. Smart's checked in for Wells. And Irving subbed in for Terry Rozier. Heat also with a sub. Waiters is checked in. Kevin, you accomplished everything individually as a teammate. Anything that you wish you would have done? Any player that you wish you would have played with? Any uh, regret in that form? That, that lingers with you in retirement? Mm, no, nothing lingers. Obviously, um, you know, you sit back and think about it. I would love to play with Cole for a year or, you know, got to, you know, team at least play in the U.S. You had a chance to. Wasn't, wasn't yeah. there like a rumor at one yeah, time? Yeah, it was, it was, it was. You going to the Lakers? Well, my connection with Paul was just the opportunity when I waited. It was it's what it was, but um, you know, Cole, you wouldn't have traded the Paul Pierce thing for anything. No, I wouldn't have because Paul and I are true brothers. The connection, uh, and then the team, he, Ray, you know, my, my connection with uh, Doe and, and then Doc and all that. So I, I wouldn't have given that up for anything. But if I could have played with one person, it probably would have been Cole. Summertime, I say USA because that's when you get to play with each other and all that, and you get to kind of beat up on everybody else and be USA or whatever. <laughs> so that, that would have been super fun. But it's all good. Shout to Mama. You know what it is. Uh, but I have no regrets, man. I left everything on the floor. I enjoy watching the game more than ever now, dog. I'm not even going to front. I enjoy having my popcorn, my little ritual, my boys, and, and we sit back yeah. and watch the game. I'm loving the game. Yeah. Kevin, some of the relatively new rules protecting players, the breakaway, the flagrant one, the flagrant two. Are you in favor of all this stuff? I'm in favor for players' health. You know, anything that is going to be detrimental to a player's health. I feel like, you know, the player's health is the first uh, and only obligation. Uh, that's all I've ever, I've ever worried about. You know, foul play, you know, I think every player should always understand um, it's a way to foul, it's a way to be able to, uh, you know, send a message. But um, in the heat of the moment, I get it. You know, things <coughs> are just, I hope that all players out there will continue to, you know, to care about and respect the game. Well, he is an offensive threat, and waiters can draw a ton of shooting fouls when he's aggressive. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 
Kevin, you were so successful jumping from high school to pros. What do you think about the current situation now, the, the age of 19, the minimum, to go to the draft? You know, I'm always be a fan of, of the younger kids being able to have the opportunity. I don't like when you put parameters. I can see if college was really teaching these kids and really giving them a, a solid situation to be able to uh, have something to defer to. But, you know, these kids are not learning at the rate that All you right, would we'll like them that. to learn in college. And plus, they're not staying Some in college to these points, great man. institutions mm. to be able to apply some of the things they're learning. So I just think that they need their basketball players. They're basketball players, but they should have the opportunity to take advantage of if Come they're on, able to guys, play at 17, 18 Defense. like I was. Not saying that every kid's going to have that. We got 52 points on us already. Obviously the D-League, you have all these multiple leagues throughout the world and where kids go to play. You know, some kids have missed out just because of that one year and some mishaps. And you see here, you can say, you know, for business, oh, it's good for this. Right. Listen, the business is what it's going to be. All we right. To develop and have these kids be professionals more than anything. We need to grow these kids from a skill off. level Jeez. and an appetite level. Our game was built off for one to be better than the ones that's coming this before boat. us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, man. Total uh, rust. Sydney came in here. He was, uh, a.k.a. obviously, uh, can remember uh, what you He was more foul. encouraged to beat out Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell more than anything. And then that starts to trickle down from the effect of from Jordan wanting to be better than Larry Bird and Magic to Cole wanting to be better. And, you know, it's the same thing. It's being trickled down. And um, when I think of greatness, I think... You know, it's going to follow. It's going to be shadows, and, and at some point, it's going to mimic. And, Kevin, you've you recently gotten a chance to do more TV. Your show, Area 21, has been tremendous, and the critics love it. Talk about this chapter of your career. Well, I, you know, it was something that I wasn't planning on, but, you know, Turner brought me a great concept, and it fit the mold of what um, of any man cave is, and that's really what it is. But the fact that we can go in, watch oh my games, God, man. channels, uh, see multiple games, Articulate it, you know, give it from a perspective of a player coming fresh out of this generation of players, giving understanding to this generation right. of players is very important because these players now are very different. Teaching these young players, still being mentors of these players, very important. And uh, still loving this game. It's still a beautiful game. Man, the game is growing. I'm watching these kids do all types of different mm -hmm. stuff, man. The, the creativity in our game now is so heightened. So, yeah, I'm having a bunch of fun, which is one thing I never, I never forgot the piece of advice you've always told me, man. So you continue to enjoy what you do, and it'll show. And um, I'm hoping that I'm uh, making you proud of that, Kay. I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing, man. You're, you're an incredible ambassador to all of those things. No. Put it up. Fun of no. Life. You capture a lot of the Oh, fun my fun God, fun man. Mr. Monster, monster so, Dunk. No, it, it shows. How in the hell do you miss the Johnson, freaking dunk? Johnson, the Winslow. Johnson the screen. That's a shot off a pick. Rebound Boston. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And we all know in a hostile Come environment. On, take it. Tough, but right. They were the better team on that night. 24 down good still. All around effort here and that's what you need to win on the road. Trogic with it. Now guarded by Smart. Mickey kicks to Waiters. Irving with the steal. Great to have you with us, KG, and, and Lightning Experience. Come back and, and join us sometime, okay? Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Anytime. You were terrific. You were terrific. <laughs> <laughs> you were great. Okay, Hall, you always made me look good, man. Since 95, man. We've been doing this a long, long time. time, my dude. <laughs> great to see you. Thank you, dog. And, Brent, it's amazing that our introduction to KG was just this high school kid from Chicago. And before that, from South Carolina. So unrefined, undefined. And... And now, you know, he has just so much wisdom to impart. He's, he's learned so much. It's wonderful to listen to. Well, you think about Kevin Garnett, Kevin, and the fact that he played more than half of his life in the NBA. And for a guy like that to pick up some sort of knowledge to carry it on and to pay it forward, oh that's the kind of loyalty and enthusiasm yeah, that Kevin Garnett always that. shows for the game of basketball. It's good. Well, his mind is always in the attack off. mode every time he gets a chance to run in transition. That's where he makes his best choices. Irving kicks to Horford. Good, and the assist goes right. to Irving. Irving's <clears> got <throat> four assists in the game. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Knocks it loose, and it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Boston making a switch here. Morris is checked in. Marcus Morris. And that's half. 
Not a very good half for us at all. Riding high with a 23 point lead heading into the break. Their defense is. Thank you, Kevin. Another quick start here in this first half. What has been the key the last few games? Uh, we watching the same game. Oh, D.A., you know, my, my teammates have done a great job of, of getting me in a rhythm early on in the game. Uh, if I get a few touches early on, you know, I feel more engaged, and it just it builds from there. I mean, this whole team does a great job of believing in one another and setting each other up for success. Man, I don't understand. Well, so far, so good tonight. We're getting Thanks. blown out Guys, here, and they're talking to, to us like we're doing David. something great in the game. For the third quarter of I don't know what, what game are we in. Kind of crazy. Yeah, six points, seven rebounds, and a block. Narrows down in the third. Twenty-three points down. After like what you're seeing from Tyler Johnson, and I just love how aggressive he is. Usually tries to work for the best shot that he can. Well, we saw that in the first half, and he's constantly on the move and slipping behind the eyes of the defense to work closer to the rim. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there: Dragic and Waiters. They're the backcourt. Mickey out no. with James Johnson. And it's white side oh, into the five. <laughs> Jump around like a for your leaping ability uh, in the contest. We all remember it up, very vividly well. during the pre-draft process. Did they measure you your max go. vertical? They Let's did, go. Kevin, at the Chicago pre-draft camp, you run Need through both. a Need series both. of oh. tests there. Your conditioning, uh, how your CO2 gets kicked out. They put you the, this mask on you and check your there stamina. There's shot. a bunch of doctors in there poking and prodding. I won't go into detail about that. Thank you. But they did measure the max vertical uh, during that Chicago pre-draft, and it was about a 39-inch vertical leap, so not Oof. too bad. Not too bad at all. Goes up on the wing. Rebounded by Smart. Oh, you just relish those kind of opportunities. And the defense got lucky, but they need to guard that area of the floor a little bit better. Here's Irving, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. We'll take it. And the foul goes against Miami. Should be an automatic Irving two. Irving assured of anything that he does out there offensively. Always in control. Doesn't rush all that much. And very good at running the offense. And one of the most impressive aspects of Kyrie Irving's game is that ability he has to finish around the rim. So much attention last year around the finals with that kind of creativity that he was putting on full display against the Golden State Warriors. You look at his percentages within three feet of the rim, and that's fantastic stuff from a point guard. Shots good by Waiters. A beautiful timing on that play. Waiters reaches into his bag of tricks and Let's makes go. a Come on, move guys. on the pick and roll. In the corner, smart with it. Hayward outside. In the corner, Horford with it. Fires from deep. Hands it from All right down. Now. Horford's got seven points in the game. The Heat leading by 18. Right side a screen. Waiters gets a wide open look. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And they've only connected on one of four to start the half. Their offense is sputtering just a little bit here. Pass to the monster. And the bucket counts. In. Three point chance here. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. All right, the Heat story good. last year was about some kind of rekindling at the beginning of the year, really struggling. And then all of a sudden, they just burst into flames. They were right in the playoff hunt after the All-Star break. An incredible turnaround for Eric Spolstra and his staff. All right. Love the pace he's playing with, letting his offense come to him naturally and then building upon this lead for his team. Now a timeout called by Boston. And the Heat last season, winning 30 of their final 41 games of the season, they would finish Brent at 500, but they had to work to get there. Amazing to think that even with that turnaround, maybe just one game could have made the difference for the Heat getting into the playoffs. It ended up becoming Chicago as the eighth seed, and they beat the Heat two times last year. In the corner, Irving with it. And the three off target. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Got that one up quick. Oh, my God, 17 man. points in the game. 
That gives Come on. his second three of the half with three total for the game. He feeds it to Hayward. Here's the monster. He's covered by Whiteside. No good from the monster. And a tough game for the guys around him, mainly because his shot's been hit and miss. Johnson kicks to Dragic. Come on. Heat moving the ball around. Here's Whiteside. Six on the shot clock. And there's going to be a foul. He definitely made contact with the ball, and in doing so, also got the body. So we'll see free throws here. And there are a lot of things to like about Hassan Whiteside's game, but one is his focus on his ability to rebound. Well, so many nights where you look at the stat sheet and Whiteside collecting 15, 18, 20 rebounds. That is a guy who's dominating the glass, and that can give you confidence as a defender that your big man is going to take care of any miss. All right, Jamie's making a switch here. Rouse coming alive, hopefully. In. Rodney McGruder's checked in for Miami. Outside Dragic. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. No good. Shot missing. That board. And lots of credit for the team around him. They're picking up the slack here Jimmy. tonight. Yes. He just can't buy a bucket right now. Well, if they're going to win this game, he's going to require just a little bit of help. Many of the shots he's taking are finding the hoop. Right side of screen. McGruder passes to Dragic. Let's it go with the three. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. Hayward's got three rebounds now in this one. Passes to the monster. Feeds to Horford. Raiders against Hayward. Fires high post. The monster what? passes to Irving. I Here's hit the Wells. shot button. Yes, and it's Irving. I guess it worked out all right. I don't understand it. 16 points for Shammy Wells. They're, they're getting so a lot of their points the damn shot button. The paint. That's Three of their last five joystick. baskets are from three-point range. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Whiteside dishes to Dragic. Looking to get it going. And it's sent back by Irving. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Irving. And Miami making a change here. Winslow's checked in. Raiders for three. And Rogier pulls it down. Rogier's got his third rebound tonight. Jamie's open. Now the pass to the monster. Over to the left wing. And it's Rogier missing. That's a wide, wide open shot. Wide Sadly, open look, man. And it came up short. God dang it. I wonder where Louis Here's Magruder. Five points in the game. Here's Waiters. Miami, no good on that time either. Let's go, guys. Let's go. By 13. To the paint. Off the pick. Boom, he chased it straight though. down. And that's such solid, fundamental basketball on display right there, guys. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up the dunk. Well, that's a play that only works by practicing over and over and having a great rhythm with your teammate. You could see the timing there. Here's Whiteside, uh, and the shot goes in. Whiteside's got 17 shoes. now. Uh, great to see Whiteside Come on. scoring at an efficient rate out there on the floor. Tice, he's covered by Whiteside. Here's the monster. Good for basket. Right. Six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. The Heat leading by 11. Now Drogic, he's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Here's Rogier. To the paint put it up and he could not get that one to go what? a lot of contact and he'll go to the line for two up with my they shot button, on one side. right now Brent so much ball movement is perimeter base but as defenses have adjusted do you think oh, come on man, run through the post again like we did before 
I think what we're seeing, Kevin, is that post-up play is being redefined oh my by God, more guards, more guys who draw attention down there on the block. And uh, that's the way these shifts are happening. The offense right now in today's NBA right. is so far ahead of run, what run, defensive run, run. concepts have taught you for years that the post-up game is... I, I find that comment you just made fascinating, that it's that much advanced over the defense. Yeah, because think about it, Kevin. For years and years, you've had coaching staffs and film guys talking to you about the basic qualities of a defense, and that is rim runs for the big, getting back into the paint, and building your defense out. Mm. You do that today, you're at a disadvantage on most every possession. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Yeah, when your opponent's down and frustrated, this is when you can turn it up. Here's Abrinas, and looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Dude. Down low. Here's the monster. And <sighs> man, oh, man. The Heat leading by 12. Johnson kicks to Magruder. Offensive no. rebound. A shot off that time. Dang Not it. really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Pass to Abrinas to the middle and stolen by Whiteside. Turnover. You got to even throw now it to me. Johnson. Not a lot of room. The feed to Whiteside. Lock at six. Let's it go from deep. Another shot. And Boston with the rebound. Brown's got his fourth rebound in this one. Yeah, his shot just doesn't seem to be synced up right now. Here's All hoping right, he man. finds it soon because his team is really going to need that production tonight. How about this run there in the midst of on the verge of tying it up or maybe even taking the lead? The aggressiveness has picked up on both sides of the floor. And I'm not sure what took them so long to muster that, but here we are. White side, the pass to Ellington. Miami needs to get a shot off. It's good. And the Heat lead by 12. Great self-confidence from Winslow on that play, taking it up strong inside. Out left of the wing. Morris, a screen. Uh -huh. And taken away by Johnson. In transition, here comes Miami. And the slam dunk by Johnson. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball smart basketball defensively turning into easy point the shot by wells no good miami leading by 14 magruder and it's off from three-point range it's a four second differential between the shot clock and game clock abrinas the pass to the monster the kick out to brown there's the pick. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. Brown's got his first bucket of the night. To the inside. And the layup's good off the glass. I just really like how Tyler distributes the basketball. Skilled it quickly getting the ball over to the open man. And right. so it's the Miami Heat. Three with rough quarters. Point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get mm. shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Let's listen in on what Eric Spolstra had to say to his team. I like the activity, guys. Active. <laughs> And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play. All right. Some changes here for the Celtics. Mm, down the by 15, in for 620 to go. Hayward comes in for Jalen Brown. Man. And Irving's never second even for really close. Alex Sabrinas. Waiters, he's checked in for the Heat. Rogic comes in for Johnson. Hayward out there with Horford. Then there's Smart. Then there's the Monster. And it's Irving at the one spot. That's the Boston Five. Shots good by Waiters. Waiters got four this quarter. A versatile score. Waiters has got it going tonight. He can play on and off the ball. No one's been able to stop him here. Hayward against Johnson. Off the screen. Out of bounds. Uh, Miami terrible. takes possession. Yeah, just not good court awareness there. You cannot afford to be careless. That just leads to bad turnovers. 
Miami leading by 17. Rogic dishes to Waiters. And it's Waiters again missing. And that's a rare sight. Usually shooters make the defense pay when they're that lackadaisical. And the foul on Marcus Smart. Oh boy. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Waiters outside. The dish to Winslow. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Smart. Justice Winslow, the Duke product, can give you a lot on the wing. The questions are what he can do consistently offensively, but you know he's a very good team player on both ends of the floor. Brent Winslow, definitely a plus defender. That's one of the strengths of his game. Well, what I like about his defense is certainly there's a foundation coming from Duke University. God, but he's losing he's the ball. always within arm's reach of a shooter and understands that he can make the move to get there to challenge a shot and not ever be out of position. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Yeah, get out of here. They're running. Hayward from outside. That one doesn't go. Miami leading by 19. And Waiters kicks to Johnson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on Gordon Hayward. James Johnson, the journeyman forward, the kind of player that can eat up minutes at either forward position, Brent, and just do whatever he has to do to contribute to the team on offense. Again, one of the guys who last year benefited from an incredible run from the teammates around him, and his skills were on full display. At his size, puts the ball down, oh God, shoots the three, man. goes in and will dunk on somebody. Played with incredible aggressive mindset last year. He became a candidate for one of the league's most improved players. Not shot from outside. <laughs> there, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting Sorry them up. That. <sighs> Here's the monster. He's what am I trying to ball handle for? In the corner, smart with it. Connects from three there we point go. range. But this is. Smart's got five points now in the quarter. And in that first half, guys, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes as they have here in the second. Trying to use that shot to stay in the game. Time to play together. The more games that they have, the more used to one another they are in terms of sometimes setting good hard screens and sometimes not really setting a screen oh at all. Oh, my setting God. Setting up the slip and creating opportunities that way. That is so Russell bad. Russell Westbrook, Stephen Adams, Chris Paul, insert player here. <laughs> Pretty good combination. Yeah, I like that. Here's the monster, and Whiteside oh. sends it back. And you consider just how long yep. and how big Whiteside is down there. It's not surprising that shot blocking is something he does well. Whiteside a screen on Irving. Rockets the pass to Whiteside. He got right to the cup using that screen. Whiteside's got nine points now in just the second half. Irving kicks to Hayward. If you ever did decide to go into coaching, Brent, would you also like to be the general manager to ensure you have the players uh, you really want to coach? Well, I'd also like a new car and a Learjet, Kevin. If I could get those two. Uh, this game is but, uh, I hear you. I know. I, I really think that Late. relegating that role to somebody else that you can be on the same page with is the best way to go. It's a fresh set of eyes. That's the key. I totally agree. Fresh yeah. set of eyes, and they have the time to devote to what break your team and your roster off, is man. going to need while you make sure you're developing the okay. roster yourself. So I, I think having a general I mean, manager do his job 11. and a coach do his job might be the way that That's I the would worst game in the world things, for me. Although we've seen other team. guys have success in both roles. Hit. Oh no, it's defense, man. And it's Waiters again missing. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that They're square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from get that. That, that is some tough defense the there against man. one of the better finishers in our game. <clears throat> Outside Dragic. He dishes it to Ellington. Haslam a screen. Ellington kicks to Haslam. All alone. They get it again. The shot. Whiteside, no man. Just kill him. 
Here's Rozier. He's guarded by Dragic. And we always talk about making almost your teammate well. better. That assist was right on target. And Can't believe I missed that dunk earlier in the game. The monster J was As not going to happen. Waiters dishes to Dragic. They set the pick. To the middle. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. Now, some guys have a hard time finding their teammates in those possessions. Dragic is always looking to dish to get it to the open man. Rozier, the pass to the monster. And it's Abrinas in the corner. Passes it to the monster. It's tipped. Where's the foul? Where's the foul? 129 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Heat. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. Well, at least they're going to salvage All right. a game in the season series after losing the first All right, I can get 20 points if I hit the free throw. This game. It was indeed another big game tonight <clears throat> for Hassan Whiteside. Uh, he came in with a focus and brought that dominant performance to the defense all night mm. long, controlling the pace of the Be game bad. and was firing mm. on all cylinders. Yeah, yeah. Marcus Morris has checked in for Gordon Hayward. Here we and go Miami for 20 points. Let's go. Rodney McGruder Come on. checked in for waiters. The free throw. Oh, from the you monster. suck. <laughs> you don't deserve 20 points. Level you can't hit your damn that free throws, seems to be man. Much more rare in the NBA. Why do you think that is? I'm not sure, Kevin, and there are a lot of great finds for NBA teams in the second round and even late into the second round as guys who make solid contributions not only to their team right away because they might be more mature oh, players but that minute. are passed over because the young guys show potential. <sighs> I think the scouts do a great job of finding that rare talent. Maybe they're selected a little bit more early than they would be in previous drafts. There's much more information out there oh for my. GMs to get at. The defense was in the area, oh, but not really so effective. He has it to put so away bad. this layup. Autobio passes it's to so Ellington. Dragic mm -hmm. with it. Magruder kicks to Haslam. Just five on the clock. You gotta put it up. Dishes it to Dragic. And the shot is long. Here's Rogier. The pass to the monster. Can't oh, there's my last shot. And so Miami takes this one by a All big right, margin. we got spanked this on that. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited mm. about Greg, but they never court, got it. We got schooled. Oh, well, let me see. Nine, 13 boards, two blocks. Good screens. Three for eight from the line, man. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, man. Crazy how fast they turn on you, huh? That's how it goes, yeah. Jug. Hey, man, they're going to love us again. We just got to get that W next time. They better. I can't take this anymore. Hold up. You know Hannah doesn't want you in there after game. I know, I know. I was just trying to cheer up DJ about that loss. And by cheer me up, he means bring me down even more, boo boo. Okay, well then you can okay. go. Jug. I know you try. Right. Sorry, DJ. I better get back to the cleanup crew. I tell you, boo. He's a good kid. He wears his heart on his sleeve. Yeah, I can't even fault him, man. I know he cares. You know, you're a wise man, DJ. Thanks. DJ's son. And you played a great game. Keep Thanks. your head up. All right, well, it didn't go to Celtics' way this time, uh, maybe next time. So that is going to be it for this episode. If you liked the episode, leave a like. If you haven't yet subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. We'll catch you next time on a new Plays NBA 2K18. Peace out.